All right, so we're back with another Pro Tools quick tip. And in this video, we're actually gonna be troubleshooting a common error that you may or may not have experienced in Pro Tools. And this is simply the inexplainable freezing of a Pro Tools session. So you might open a session up and you know it was working perfectly fine the day before and you press play or you try to add a track or any action that you do basically just you know makes your little wheel of you know infinite wheel of death pop up and you can't do anything else your session completely freezes and every time you close and reopen it the same thing happens over and over again so if you've had this issue or are currently experiencing this issue make sure to uh, listen very closely to what I have to say. So the reason that this is happening is if you're using a cloud storage platform such as Dropbox, the files, well, there are files in your project file or rather in your session that Pro Tools sees, okay? So they're, they're there, they're still there on your drive, but they're not physically there because they're, they might be stored online only and if that's the case, um, the best way to find out is to open your clip list. So I already have it open over here, but if you don't know how to do that, you just go up here, that little arrow at the top right corner, and you check clip list. Now, once you're in clip list, you're gonna wanna go in show, full path, right? That's gonna show us where the files are stored. So let me open that up just a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to organize them. So we're going to do sort by disk name. Okay. So we see DB audio over here. In my case, that's the drive I'm working from. It's my external solid state drive. But if I take this scroller and go all the way up, you're going to see that at some point, ah, see right over here, there's a cut. So here there's files that are stored on my local drive and more specifically, these are files that are also linked to Dropbox. So if I were experiencing this issue and I have experienced this issue and it really uh, made me start, you know, diagnosing this problem further, but it was basically because of that. So like the, the these files, so you want to, you know, you might have one or two or three different locations where these files are stored. You want to double check all of them and make sure that the the folder is available offline so that all the files in there are actually physically downloaded on your drive. And once you do that, you should be good to go. You, your Pro Tools session should actually stop freezing and everything will be fine, which is great. OK, so that's what we want. But as a precaution, so that this doesn't happen again, I'm actually going to point you to another one of my quick tips where I talk about consolidating an entire Pro Tools session so that all your audio files are copied into one folder. And that's just basically going to avoid this problem from ever happening ever again. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or would like any further guidance on this issue, feel free to leave me a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But other than that, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more Pro Tools quick tips just like this one. Thanks for watching.